In this video, I'm not only gonna go ahead and give you my review on what I think about the SteelSeries Arctix 9X, but also show you the steps that I did to make this thing clearly compatible on every modern system known to man, such as including PC, PS4, and of course, they're built for the Xbox. Let's get started. So brand new, these headset retail for $199. But during holidays, you could literally find these headphones on sale. But what makes these Steel Series so different compared to other gaming headsets available on the market is that these have the same wireless hardware that Xbox controllers use. So they connect the exact same way like an Xbox controller. And they also have a separate Bluetooth connection so that these headphones could also connect via Bluetooth across any supported Bluetooth device. To give you a real world example how this is beneficial, this is how I like to use them. I could turn on the Xbox by simply holding down the power button on the headset just like you would on an Xbox controller. As soon as the Xbox is turned on, it will automatically detect and identify the headset and automatically assign it, which means audio is already being transmitted from the Xbox and the microphone is already connected. It's literally 100% wireless. And if there's a YouTube video I'm watching on my iPhone, I can listen to the audio from my phone through the headset while I'm still listening to the audio that I'm playing in a game. This is extremely useful, especially when you're following like video tutorials while you're gaming. Instead of originally what most people would do, or I would usually do, is have one headset like off my ear so I could hear both devices. But then that also means anybody that I'm talking to in a party chat will also be able to hear what I'm listening to. Was this headset? That is all eliminated. So you could have two devices paired at the same time. Now, as I previously mentioned, this headset is completely wireless, which means there's no dongles or anything you have to attach to your television or Xbox. The pairing process is exactly the same when pairing a new Xbox controller to your Xbox. And this headset is already confirmed to be supported on the next generation Xbox, the Xbox Series X that's coming out later on this fall. So just by saying that, this headset's already future-proof. Now these Arctix 9X can also be connected to your PC. You connect it in two different ways. The method I personally like using is just simply connecting it via Bluetooth. Because if you look closely back here, there's a separate Bluetooth button away from the separate power slash Xbox button. By simply holding down the Bluetooth button for eight to six seconds, it'll put the headset in Bluetooth pairing mode. And then you can simply just go onto the device you're trying to connect these headphones to and just select SteelSeries. On the PC side, both audio and microphone is fully supported. So you can literally use the same microphone from this headset. So the same way how you connect these to your Xbox, once these are connected to your computer, it's automatically gonna begin streaming audio and you'll be able to utilize that microphone to talk to people in your game. And during all my gaming sessions, not once have I felt like these headsets are losing connection or if there's a noticeable latency. Latency, the response time is really quick. So I personally never had any issues when I connect this was Bluetooth to my PC. Just however, I have read online that some people have been facing issues when they have it connected this way, which is why it is recommended to pick up the Xbox dongle for your PC in case you're experiencing any latency issues or connection problems. The dongle is really inexpensive, but my computer has Bluetooth 4.3. So if your computer has Bluetooth 4.3 or newer, you should be perfectly fine. But the dongle again, it's really inexpensive. So if you don't have any experience when it comes to installing new Wi-Fi cards or Bluetooth cards, the dongle is just a USB port you can just plug and play. Then all the buttons back here, when you have it connected to your computer, they all function exactly the same like they would on the Xbox. You have your plus and minus rocker right here for your volume controls, your mute switch, which not only is easy to press, but will also glow red when your microphone is on mute. On the left side of the ear cup, right over here, there's another rocker. This is your mixer for game audio and chat audio. But if you look down here, unfortunately, it's not using USB-C, it's using micro USB, which they do provide the cable, but it's just really unfortunate that it's not using the latest USB-C port. A two hour charge will fully charge this headset and it's listed to last up to 26 hours under a single charge. And for my personal experience, I usually find myself charging this headset once every two weeks. So battery life so far has been phenomenal. And if you take a closer look down here, there is an aux port that has some very unique features. Yes, one being that you can still hear audio even with the headset powered off if you connect it this way. But let's say you have somebody right next to you and they also want to hear whatever your audio that's playing through the headset, you can literally plug in the aux cable from this headphone to the other headphone and it's gonna transmit the audio that's playing on the headset on the SteelSeries 
to the headset that's also connected to it. In other words, this is like audio sharing, but hardwire. So if you have this connected to your phone or your Xbox and you're mixing two audios at the same time, if you have the two headphones wired this way, whatever audio is playing on the Steel Series will transmit that audio to the connected headphone. Now, another unique feature that this headset has is that it actually has four EQ modes. The first mode is flat, then there's also a bass booster, smiley, and then there's focus. You can switch between the four different modes by simply tapping once on the power button. It's gonna play like a different sound for each mode. And I personally love using focus because it amplifies footsteps, but also freaks me out whenever I hear like a loud explosion somewhere nearby. But I love playing in this mode, especially when playing battle royale style games like Warzone. And then when I'm casually just listening to music with these headphones, I like to put it on bass booster. It really does make a difference. But if I were to grade the sound quality that these headphones can offer, honestly, I'm not disappointed. These headphones, they retail brand new for $200 and they literally sound like $200 headphones. So sound quality overall is good and you're getting what you pay for. I literally don't have any complaints. It's perfect for gaming. Then the overall build quality of these headphones. When I'm doing this, there's no loose ends. There's no rattling of any kind, nothing that makes me cautious or concerned that it might crack or fail in the future. The metal structure as you see here is extremely flexible. It's a one size fits all and it's using this design for the headrest, which I personally prefer because it doesn't rely on those little clicking adjustment mechanism that some headphones have. Usually with those mechanisms, over time they tend to loosen up. With these, they're still fully adjustable. In fact, this part over here, it's held together by Velcro and you could adjust it like so. The headset itself, they're overall really comfortable. I have worn them as long as five hours at one point. The headrest, the top part, they really don't strain your head as much, but my only complaint is the ear cups. They're made out of like cotton, like a hard cotton material. They're soft, don't get me wrong, but the first two hours they do become uncomfortable. But from my understanding, these ear cups are swappable and I've seen people buy like memory foams. So these ear cups can be swapped with other generic over ear headphone style cups, which is something I may consider swapping in the future. But out of the box, they're comfortable. They're not really that irritating. Now on top, you may not be a huge fan of this green pattern that's on top of here. By looking at the Velcro strap, it looks like you could swap this out if you want to remove it entirely. I'm not sure if this part is sold separately. If you encounter an all black one, you could swap it out or maybe you could just customize it with like a Sharpie or something. Not saying that you should, but I know people love to really personalize their devices, you can. But it's green like that because this headset was partnered with Microsoft, which is why it works extremely well on the Xbox. But because of that, this is the reason why it doesn't work with the PlayStation 4. If you try to pair it with Bluetooth, it's just gonna go ahead and give you this message and it's just not gonna let you connect this headset to the PlayStation. And then since I was sick and tired of swapping between different headsets to play on each console, a good solution to solve this was just to pick up a mod mic. It simply attaches onto the headset like so, as you saw earlier in this video. Now this headset has a separate microphone. This microphone literally connects directly to the PlayStation with the appropriate adapter. And now I could listen to the audio with the headphone while also talk to people in game chat was this external microphone. The microphone setting can be fully adjusted in the PlayStation setting. And then since the mic is also universal, you can plug it in to pretty much any other headset that you have. For the PC, there's no need to buy an additional adapter or anything like that. It's You literally just plug this in into the mic port on your desktop. And then if you wanna connect this to an Xbox controller, you could always just purchase the splitter, the splitter which connects right underneath the controller to separate the mic and the audio. But the overall mic quality on this mod mic isn't that bad. Here's a sound sample. Here's the sound sample with no edit, just raw, of the mod mic sound quality. The microphone itself, testing one, two, three, it picks up my voice really well. And you can still understand exactly what I'm saying. And it doesn't echo at all either. And then here's a sound sample with the Steel Series. And here's the sound sample of the Steel Series microphone. So far, again, like the microphone quality, overall quality isn't terrible. It's not studio grade quality, but it's still doable. I mean, like everybody's able to understand me when I'm, whenever I'm in a match with other people. I never really had a complaint of it ever echoing or anything like that. So far, it works phenomenal. Both of the headsets sound perfectly fine, but with this mod mic, that's basically the solution that I came with in order to make this headset compatible across every gaming console. Yes, you do lose the wireless capability when you plug it in this way to your PlayStation, but it's a small price to pay 
for salvation. Then when you're done with the headset, I mean, you could just disattach it like so. Mod mic provides this treble case. So you could literally organize everything really easy. And then the headset itself is fully adjustable that you could literally fold it flat and it still has a small compact profile. But my only main complaint about the Steel Series is that as soon as you turn off the Xbox, you know how your Xbox controller turns off automatically with the system? Well, these, they don't do that. As soon as you turn off the Xbox, they are still powered on. You have to manually go in and remember to power them off afterwards. They do the same exact thing whenever you have it paired to Bluetooth. If you're not playing audio, there's no built-in automatic timer that will automatically turn off the headset. So every time when you're done using these headphones, you have to manually remember to turn them off. Or else the next day you're gonna wake up and as soon as you put on these headphones, they're gonna be low on batteries. Oh no, if you're looking for a really good gaming headset that doesn't cost $300 plus, but also shares the same quality and gaming experience as some of those very expensive headphones and it has some extra additional goodies, this is a really good, reasonable, mid-price gaming headset. Since it's now confirmed that it will be compatible with the Series X, technically RA makes this headset future-proof compared to other headphones on the market. So for anybody who has an Xbox or a PC, even a PS4, this is the headset that I will personally recommend. But if you only own a PlayStation 4, you're better off just picking up the Sony Gold wireless headset. And then possibly just pick up the mod mic if you also do some PC gaming on the side. But with this mod mic, you could basically turn any over to your headphone into a gaming headset. Just remember, you have to deal with wires though. But it's still pretty cool that you do get a mute switch on the cable itself. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be sure to include links to where you can find all this stuff in the video description down below. If you'd like to see more gaming stuff, you could go ahead and check out this video over here. So that is a guide tutorial on how you're able to get AirPods to work on all gaming consoles. And then this video over there, that is a quick attachment that you could turn your current Xbox One controller to give it some Xbox Elite controller features. Feel free to watch either or, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.